Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from a sort of interest in life.com and you're joining me on a mango bike single speed bike on a very straight road down a very steep hill. For anyone interested, this is coming from the top of the race course on the outskirts of Oswestry in Shropshire. You can see in the distance just about the sort of big flat plains of Shropshire and lovely rural scenery as usual. And this is, well, again, just on the Welsh border and filled with absolutely lovely scenery. Behind us, it's nothing but hills, so we won't take the bike up there anytime soon. But I just wanted to share this random quick downhill section with you. In the past, especially when I was growing up and a little bit younger than I am these days, I used to do an awful lot of up and down in here. And I'd take my bike up the country lanes and the sort of rural winding roads to get to the top of the race course and then zip down this part as it only takes about four minutes to get about two miles or so, which you can imagine, especially when I was a lot younger, was the most awesome thing ever and the most exciting thing that I've ever done at some points in my life. I edited out just a little bit of the sort of level and the slightly uphill part there. There's a totally random little dip that sort of hides all the traffic, which is terrifying sometimes, especially if you're walking up this path, as suddenly a car seems to be about 30 foot ahead of you. But as we head down this last stretch into town, you can see again just in the distance how it's just sort of flat and you're looking miles upon miles over to the horizon there, even from a relatively low point as this. And I just wanted to really share this as another one of those totally random places. I couldn't get up to super speeds. This is probably about 40 mile an hour tops in this video. But I have done 60 miles an hour on a normal geared bike. But because I was on the single speed, I obviously didn't have the gear in to actually, when I tried to really pedal fast, get any sort of bite and grip because I was already traveling that quick that the low gear in, in this case, wasn't um, suitable because it is rather unusual and non-standard riding conditions. Anyway, I'm going to wrap things up as we get into the outskirts of town now and say thank you very much for watching. Check out my other videos for loads of scenery and biking and fixies and kayaking and even living on a boat. Yes, living on a boat. Feel free to add me personally on Facebook and Twitter or even like the Facebook page for loads of photos of canal scenery and updates from Life Afloat. And please do check out my books available for the Kindle. Say it's Amazon for the Narrowboat Lad or find links to everything just mentioned in the description below. Until the next time, keep it boat worthy, keep it bike worthy and farewell.